where it's happening. It's not in the blue zone, it's in the green zone here because implementation that the Egyptian government wants is not just talk here because the real action is going to happen. It's well thought out, it's well constructed. Egypt is going to lead the way. Fantastic event with British power behind. Thank you. Uh, very impressive, very well organized, really involved uh, the discussion, very intriguing and really they're doing a great job in, in bridging the gap uh, between the Egyptian government and the British and the technological advances that are happening in the UK with the Egyptian government. That we take seriously all three letters in the ESG, so environment, society and governance, as well as UN sustainable, uh, sustainability goals. Um, as part of that, uh, climate is extremely important uh, and we are as a company at the corporate level committed to achieving net zero by 2040. Allow me to take this opportunity to start by thanking uh, Liba, British Egyptian uh, Business Association, and the British Chamber of Commerce for inviting me to talk in this session. Actually, the Ministry of Planning and Economic Development and the Government of Egypt uh, um, and your student organization have had a long-standing relationship, which uh, has borne a multitude of fruitful uh, outcomes and fruitful cooperation. I think it's a, a very important event. It's, it's a, obviously part of the whole COP27 process and engaging with business and trying to strengthen the relationship between Egyptian business and British business but focusing on this issue of renewable energy is I think a, a very crucial part of making the whole conference a success. Oh, I have been here since yesterday and it has been really, uh, I think the, the best word is that it's very interdisciplinary and we have had uh, both the industry, both the finance and then the academia and I'm re representing the academia so I'm really, really happy to, that you also considered having, you know, uh, those who are forming the citizens of the future, the leaders of the future uh, in the conversation. So it has been interesting, different uh, things coming up. Uh, with solutions, with problems, uh, with a dynamic discussion. So I think it has been uh, a success. We have our 
developers, projects uh, launching and delivering green hydrogen in the first half of 26, and the remainder of uh, that in 2030, then beyond that in 2040. Academia is a very important program uh, contributor. Uh, I went to school at UC Berkeley and there basically the, the university has been so active in teaming up you know, with Silicon Valley, with the technology companies and really engaging the students